they might be afraid and shy wearing outrageous clothing, but they might be able and want to take the risk and wear bold eyewear. And also, too, when someone's shopping, they want style, it's all about the lenses as well. Sometimes you can't assume that someone may only want a brown or somebody may want a black. They might want the green. They might want graphite green to go with their red frame. You know, and it's like you think that it's not the norm, but it actually looks good. Don't be afraid to pair certain colors with the lens colors and frame colors as well. It's all about taking risks and doing things that are unconventional and trying it out. We're in 2017, so we really, I think it's truly important to like do things that you normally wouldn't do because people are, there's so many resources out there with social media to be inspired, to be able to, like Coco said, to pair a red frame with like a green lens. It sounds outrageous, but it actually looks really, really cool. And also too, nowadays, you know, people that aren't as fashionable with their clothing, their eyewear is that piece that when they walk in the room, you remember them from their eyewear. There's actually a few people in here that we've hung out with from that came to hang out with transitions in New York at the Project Runway event. And I remember them from their glasses. So that's a very important piece and statement to know. Next we're gonna talk about eyewear trends. Um, something that I've noticed with eyewear trends is that a lot of vintage styles are coming back and um, are more modern now. Edgy, oversized, chunky, and bold classics. I think that now with trends, they love, even for the prescriptions with transitions in there, it's not only just a small frame, but they are willing to wear more of a, a bold statement piece. A lot of angular shapes, and we've also noticed a lot of styles that are very popular in appetite that are kind of, a lot of brands are making them into a metal with using the same silhouette. Wow. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so just a background story, we made these with prints for print, which was amazing. It was a piece that was a signature piece. Um, the third rim was removable, and you actually got an extra set of lenses, which was really cool. So these are the futuristic styles that are coming back, you know. Um, also too, we noticed that small and round is really in with acetate and metal frames. Cat eyes are great as well. I often see men wearing like a simple square frame that has a bit of a cat eye. And you know, unique aviators. And the cool part about all this is that you can pair your transitions in them. So like I said before, I really stress that like do not be afraid to pair a bold frame with a, either a prescription or a transition because People want to be able to walk indoor and wear an awesome frame and then walk outdoor and wear another. And also, um, when people walk into your practice, they trust you. And something that we want to leave with is like really giving you guys the confidence to actually let people try something that they wouldn't try because they're going in there trusting your advice. And I really think that if you just suggest to them to try a chunky frame or to try pairing like a multicolor that they would never wear, they're going in there trusting you. And so really think outside the box and when pairing a frame with a different color transition. Next, face shapes. So face shapes are very important. One thing I do is that when I'm traveling around, even when I, I don't think there's anyone here from New York City, but when I'm in New York riding the train, all I do is look at people's faces. We're, the, the, we're like the number one people watchers. And it, it's so funny for me. Like, sure. I hope this person does not think I'm staring at them. I'll be like creepy. You see that person that's behind me? I can face shape and different frames they have on. But the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm getting market research and reality to see like, all right, okay, I see that cat eye. That fits really well with the oval face. Or, you know, it's really important that you might have someone come to your practice and they may have a wider face or a round face or a narrow face. If you see someone that has a narrow face, you don't want to really see them put on a huge square because you want their face to look even. You don't want to make it seem like they're wearing a chunky frame that's too big and oversized that it's falling off their face, you can't see their face features. Also too, um, yeah, so just look around with market research. You can do all the online research you want to, but just keep your eyes open when you're around people and that's how you can really understand face shapes. I actually have a note section in my cell phone that has like eyewear, and whenever I see someone with their face shape, I'm like, all right, square around, eight here to this, you know? And I always take notes in the real world. Our world is really our canvas. Yeah, Another one inspiration book. Now, fake frame trends. You can go on with this. This is your book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've been seeing a lot of vintage gold. As you can tell, breezy frames 
which are our frames. They kind of have a vintage flat top, metal, cat eye-ish feel. Um, black prints are really good. Even if it's like really thin or chunky, they're very trendy. Um, the clear and white is awesome. I've been seeing a lot of tortoise fronts with clear, transparent temples. Um, the classic tortoise is always great. But one thing I've been noticing is that people are mixing tortoises. So they may have a dark tortoise with a caramel tortoise. They may be doing lamination, or it just might be like the front might be different than the temples. But it's, it's definitely a trend that way. And then blues, reds, pinks, and purples. Next is frame trends that, you know, in the fashion world, the fashion world are always looking for trends and there's always color trends. But who says that we can't design our eyewear or sell our eyewear based off the trends that go on fashion? So these are some of the Pantone color trends that are in the spring 2017. Take notes, everybody, because they're really important. Um, we have yellow, there's the pale dogwood, hazelnut, island paradise, greenery. I heard that greenery is really in. And the cool about, part about these trends for eyewear is that it's not only, it can be the trend color that you use for your marketing material, or the trend colors you use for when you're doing your typography on social, you know? So it's great because it doesn't only go with the eyewear or your clothing, it's just the color trends all around. And here are some more trends. Take notes. Yeah, take your photos, everybody. <laughs> One thing I've been noticing as well with this is that like doing monochromatic with your marketing material for social is like really in. So if you want to do a quote or write information about your store, it's cool if you do like that pale dogwood and then maybe do the typography of the light pink and then do some more writing with the address that is, is maybe white. But like having that monochromatic feel is very in style. Next we're going to talk about the lens color trends. Different types of lenses and functions. We have the photochromic lenses, which well, those are my favorite. Yeah, we always really photochromic <coughs> lenses because they adjust really quick from clear to dark. And as you guys know, these girls right here are always on the go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very convenient. We have our color lenses as well, which you see with sun. Um, we have rose, gold, blues, which is also a great pop. So if someone wants to wear a neutral color frame, they might wear black, they might wear brown. But then why not add a rose gold lens? And make the lens be the top piece of your frame. And then there's also flash coating, which is really popular for the transition driver. All right, so next we have communicating with patients. They're going to hold it down. They're going to hold it down. Thank you guys. All right. If you ain't, or if you guys have not followed Coco and Parisi on social media, you definitely need to follow these ladies. They are killing social media. Literally, pull out your phones and follow them right now. You'll learn Thank a lot. You. <laughs> so what I'm going to talk about today is communicating with patients. This is actually one of my favorite things in the world. It's one of the reasons why I became an optometrist. 